I'm going to show you how to stand to the golf ball. This is great if you are brand new to golf, but also a very valuable reminder if you're an established player already. I'm going to show you how to stand to the golf ball with an iron and a driver. And the most important thing is the order that we stand to the golf ball in. The most important thing is we get the club head in the correct position and then build everything around that. Too often, I'll see golfers build everything around their feet position first, and then it causes inconsistencies in your setup and inconsistencies in your golf shots. So the first thing we've got to do is make sure we put that club behind the ball first. Number one priority. So obviously we want to aim that club face the direction we want to hit the golf ball in and take your time doing that. Make sure you get it right. Pick a point in front of you, which I will discuss in another video about how to aim, but make sure it's nice and straight. It's number one. And as you can see, I've not really taken my actual stance around the ball yet. My feet are quite close and I'm not the right distance away yet. That's absolutely fine. Once you've aimed the golf club, the second thing to do is take your grip, which I have covered in another video if you want to see it. Click the link in the corner to watch, but take your grip next. And from this point, you can see my feet are pretty close together. I'm roughly leaning now more over the golf ball, but I'm not in my correct setup position yet. That's where it comes in now. So what I would do from here is look at taking my distance away from the golf ball, my width of stance and my ball position in the very next move. So what I'd like to always do first is try and get width of stance. So as my feet are together, I'm hitting a mid iron, I'm hitting a seven iron. I'm looking for a nice symmetrical stance with the ball position just being in front of centre, just slightly. Now from here, I can kind of move my feet. I'm not getting too static because I want to get my distance away from the golf ball correctly. And what I like to see is that the arms hang naturally straight down so that you create this little gap between you, your legs and the golf club. If a golfer gets too close to the ball and a bit too cramped, the arms move inwards and during the golf swing then, the arm positions are gonna change and that's not ideal. Also, if you stand too far away, if you're stretching for the golf ball, again, it's very difficult to get your arms in the correct position if you are stretched too far away. Letting your arms hang naturally down gives you the benefit is as you come back into the shot, your arms are gonna be in the same position again. There's gonna be loads of space between you and the golf club, and then you can make a really efficient strike and find the middle of the club face. Posture wise, I want you to feel comfortable. Ideally, yes, we wanna tilt from the hips, stick your bottom out, feel like the knees just flex slightly and you present a fairly straight back. But I also understand a lot of golfers will have potential aches and pains, might not be able to get into this perfect posture. I'm not too bothered about that. The big ones for me is making sure your club face is in the right position, that your ball position is correct, that your width of stance is good and your distance away from the golf ball is good and you feel comfortable. Posture wise, it's gonna have a benefit, yes, but I also understand there may be some limitations. So let me run through that again. First thing, club head. Build everything around this club head. That's number one, making sure it's nice and straight. Then take your grip, and with my feet together, I'm now gonna go symmetrical stance, making sure my feet are the same width apart, with for a seven iron, the ball just in front of center. My arms are hanging naturally from my shoulder socket. I can pretty much draw a straight line from my shoulder down to my hands, and I feel comfortable. Like I say, my knees are flexed, my bum is back and my, my back is straight and slightly arched, kind of leaning over. Let's hit this with an iron first. And a good setup position should lead into a very solid, balanced swing as well. That's absolutely key. Now we're going to talk about driver, because there's a couple of little tweaks with driver that you need to know about. Things that do change, or things that do stay the same, is you've always got to build everything around the golf club first. That's number one, and I cannot stress that enough. The amount of golfers I've seen come up to a shot and they'll take their feet position, take the grip, put the club down, 
and it, they won't change the distance away and suddenly they're in the wrong spot and they'll hit it and it can vary all the time. Build everything around the club first. So club first, aiming nice and straight. Then look at getting your grip. Then with the feet together with driver, we're looking for a symmetrical width of stance in relation to my shoulders. But now that ball position you can see is much further forward. And with driver distance away from the golf ball, I don't mind if the arms are just a little bit stretched away. Letting the arms just feel like they're slightly away from the body will create a little bit more power. The club is longer. As soon as you get that, the, your arms underneath your body too much, you start to limit your power. There's one last point I want to talk about. I can mention on the irons and the driver. When I've got that club aiming nice and straight to target, as I take my stance, look at having the feet running parallel to your target line. Something I should have mentioned in irons, but that's also a real good checkpoint that you need to have. So go through that again. Club head behind the ball first, then take your grip, then with a symmetrical stance in the ball position forward, look at getting your arms just a little bit stretched away from your body with driver. And then when you're ready to hit, you can create power and balance. And you can hit some really good shots. Guys, hopefully that helps. If you are new to golf, going through those little checkpoints will make it easier for you to become more consistent. And if you are an established golfer, this is a great reminder. So many established golfers just overlook the setup. How to stand to the golf ball is so key. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We'll see you next time.